Cliff Abbott's talk with Mickey Vernon going in five. Why don't you tell me? So now I'm not dead last. Eh? All right. <laughs> Mickey Vernon, you were one of baseball's superior players. Last year, a new career as a manager. You managed the Washington Senators. Your team finished in a tie for last place. Now, Tops as a player and as a manager finishing at the bottom. Was this very upsetting to you? Well, no, because... Uh, most of the writers before the season started were picking us to win 35 or 40 ball games, and for the first two months of the season, we were in fourth place uh, with a 30 and 30 record at the end of two months. And uh, I thought we were doing very good at the time, and then we hit two very bad losing streaks, and and I guess uh, you might say things caught up with us, and uh, then we went down from then on. But uh, I do think we had a fairly good season, even though we finished in tie for last, because we won 61 ball games, about 20 more than the writers gave us. What does a, a player expect from a manager? Well, <laughs> that's tough to to uh, to answer because uh, uh, most players want to play, and uh, the ones that are sitting on the bench, you don't know what they're expecting from a manager, but. The ones that are playing every day, they more or less uh, know that they're going to play and they kind of know what to expect from the manager. But the guys that are sitting on the bench, something which uh, I didn't have much uh, experience at mm -hmm. until the last year of my career, so I don't know what they expect. Well, um, as a former player, now a manager, can a player uh, come to a manager if he has a, a personal problem, something that's bothering him that has nothing to do with play on the field itself? Yes, he can, uh, and uh, we uh, try to encourage it. If uh, if he has something that he wants to get off his mind, uh, then we tell him to come and see us or, uh, or come to the front office and see Mr. Darty, our general manager, and we'll see if something can't be worked out. Uh, an American League player the other day said that um, when he was playing with a second division team, a team that was down the cellar, there's hardly any spirit that it doesn't make much difference. Uh, even if you lose a game, the fellows just sit around and laugh it up and play cards and all that. Uh, how do you keep the spirit on your team going? Well, it, that's uh, something that uh, some of the fellows uh, have to uh, take care of themselves. Uh, they, uh, if you have spirited ball players, then you you more or less have good spirit. But if you have some fellows that, that kind of get in a rut and, uh, and think they're going to lose every day, then it's kind of tough getting them up to, uh, to a spirited ball club. And, uh, well, you have to uh, just hope for the best. You know, they're all pros, so to say. And uh, uh, whatever uh, comes, I guess, uh, they kind of take in stride. The fellow I was referring to was Tex Clevenger, and he said that when he was with the Angels uh, and then over to the Yankees, he had to make an adjustment from sort of being a loser to adjusting to playing with a winner. Uh, Mickey Vernon, uh, you're a close friend of one of my favorite guys in baseball, Danny Murto, a manager of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Now, as a friend of his, can you take us behind the scenes, and when you're back home in Pennsylvania, what kind of a guy is Danny like? Well, Danny, I think, is a different type person than a lot of the fans picture him as they, they think he's, uh, you know, he, he's a tough-looking Irishman, and, and he can be tough on occasion, but he's really a, a good family man, a good churchgoer, and uh, one of the cleanest living fellows that you'd ever want to meet. And uh, he's just, uh, well, he's just tops in our, in our community, and uh, and there's no finer guy that you would uh, want to be around, believe me. This is very interesting. You have the views from one of the finest uh, of all baseball players, Mickey Vernon, and uh, expressing the views on the same level of a friend of his and one of our favorite fellows, Danny Murtaugh, the manager of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Mickey Vernon, as always, 1962 and ahead, the very best of good luck. This is Cliff Evans reporting from Pompano Beach, the spring training camp of the Washington Senators.